While Education Commissioner Mary Ellen Elia can tell you many important things about public education, there are some questions she probably isn't prepared to answer. How can I get special education students to focus more? How can we use GPS on school buses? Are you ready for virtual reality in school? For those answers, visit the Education Expo on the second floor. Among more than 150 exhibitors is Questar Assessment, New York's new testing vendor in booth 744. In the last couple of months, we've been able to double the amount of educators being used for three through eight assessments that will be administered to students. It's important to note that this is done in partnership in line with the Commissioner's goals as we work towards increased educator involvement in the creation of these assessments. Look for Nancy Delamore, inventor of the Focus Desk at the Marvel Group, booth 778. Uh, the Focus Desk was created for kids uh, that actually learn differently all around the country. I mean, uh, we've never had press like this. We've never had so much interest. Uh, people are calling us from all types of schools, not only schools with kids with special needs, but uh, public schools. Learn how real-time GPS, school bus, and student ridership enhances student safety with Trekker. Trekker works on a, a GPS monitoring system. Uh, GPS is, uh, uh, of course, we all use that with our phones, but uh, uh, the student will have a card. Uh, when the student onboards or offboards the bus, the card is scanned automatically and uh, that information is then loaded uh, into the cloud and it is uh, transmitted to the parents and to the administration simultaneously as well as the bus driver. Immerse yourself in science, technology and math in the Z-Space Virtual Reality STEM Lab, booth 500. Well, it allows kids to do things they couldn't do otherwise. They can virtually do science projects and engage in dissections and all kinds of things that just weren't possible before. I'm Casey Nicholson for NISBA News. Brought to you by Sprint.